All right, let's take a look at some of the features of the interval ear trainer. An interval is the distance between two different notes in music, and so that's a great way to work on your ear is to be able to hear the distance between uh, different notes. And so first of all, uh, let's take a look at the interval ear trainer interface. Um, at the very bottom is going to be the intervals that you're going to work on. And if you're just getting started with ear training, by default, all of these are checked. And so what I'm going to do here is there's a button that says all off. So I'm going to clear all of those. And I'm going to just pick a couple of intervals to start off with. And so I'm going to choose uh, a major second, which is the, the capital M2. All right, and that's just the checkbox right here. And then I'm going to also choose a perfect fifth, which is the P5. All right, so now I'm only going to be working with those two intervals. And that's kind of a good way to approach uh, ear training is starting out with two, then add three, then four, until you can eventually recognize all of them. And you, and you can turn them all on and work at all of them at the same time. All right, next, a couple of other things. Um, there's where it says configure playback. All right, the first drop down menu says melodic long. That means that we're going to hear the two notes separately and a little bit more time in between them. I have two other options. One is melodic short, which is just playing the notes one after another, but a little bit shorter. And then the third option is harmonic, and that means playing both of the notes at the same time. Then the, the uh, drop box to the right here gives me a couple of different options. I have ascending, descending, and either. So whether I want the, the uh, notes to go up, down, or choose either of those. And I'm just going to keep it ascending, which is what you want to do if you're just first starting out with interval ear training. Then I can choose uh, to the drop down menu to the right what instrument that I want the sound to be. And I can choose from piano, guitar, acoustic steel, guitar, electric, clean. And uh, even though we're all guitar players, I'm just going to stick with piano here for right now. Um, and there's below this, there's a volume setting. And then there's an autoplay next interval option. And that just means that uh, once I've gotten the correct inter interval uh, if answered correctly, it'll just go on to another one. So I can just kind of do some rapid fire ear training. And I'm going to set that. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is go up to the very top uh, left here, and there's a big play button. I'm going to hit that, and then I get to choose which of the two intervals I think that is. Okay, so now I have the choice of, you know, major second or perfect fifth because those are the two that I chose to work on. The other ones are dimmed out so that's not even uh, a choice that I can select. Now if I just listen to that and said, hmm, I'm not sure what that is, I can hit the repeat button and it's going to repeat the same interval. If you accidentally hit the play button again, it's going to do a different one. So I'm going to hit the repeat button again. All right. And I'm going to click went on. Uh, I'm going to click, I clicked that perfect fifth because that was a perfect fifth. All right. Now, in the far right here, it gives me my score. So it, it tells me um, if, if I'm working on this one and I've gotten um, my current problem, tells me how many times if I've got it correct or if it was incorrect, and the total session that I'm working on right now how many correct or incorrect. So this time I'm going to answer wrong. So I'm going to repeat this. And it's a perfect fifth, but I'm going to answer major second. Uh, red, wrong. All right. So now it uh, is going to tell me that as I go on, it's going to tell me that I got one incorrect, but it's going to wait till I um, answer it correctly to give me my full score. So um, as I get more comfortable, you know, with my two intervals, then I can, you know, add 
more intervals into the mix, start doing ascending, descending, make them play faster, try different instruments, and you build up your um, ability to work on these different intervals. Now, I'm going to go and, and show you a couple more features here. I'm going to turn all of these on. Now, this time, I'm going to play. Okay. Now, if I play that and I say, hmm, I'm not sure what that is, and I repeat it. Okay, it's going to be pretty bad if I don't get that one because it's a perfect one. It's the exact same note one after another. But if I just say, I don't know, all right, then I'm going to, right here, there's a little question mark that says narrow choices. If I just don't know, I'm going to hit that. And now I've taken some of the intervals out of the equation. So if I just couldn't figure it out, now I've only got the choice of, you know, the perfect one, you know, minor third, and these other ones that are in dark blue. All right, I play it a couple more times, and I'm still not sure. I need another hint. I narrow it down more, narrow it down more, narrow it down more. Now I've only got two. So even if I, all right, it's P1. All right, now there is also some help at the very top. You see this help. And, you know, there's some of the things that I'm talking about. And there's also some keyboard shortcuts that you can use um, that, that uh, if you're a power user, you can do to help you uh, get your ear training up and running a little faster. Now, let's take a look down at this bottom section again, because there's more to it than just selecting the different intervals. All right. You see this button here that says learn. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to um, where I was working on my major second and my perfect fifth again, and I'm gonna go just to the left where this says major second here, uh, the capital M two, and I'm gonna hit learn. And when I do that, it kind of brings up a little dialog box here that's gonna give me some more information. All right, it says help for capital M two interval. That's then it says name, major second. It's called a major second. How many steps? Two. Uh, steps, half steps. All right. One fret equivalent on the guitar. Then here you have, you know, uh, some standard notation. It's a C to a D, which is a, a interval of a major second. And then here it is in tablature. All right. Now I can, I can work on, if I want to just hear what these sound like, I'm going to hit the ascending button. And it's going to play those two notes that were in the tablature ascending, or I can listen to descending. So I can just get used to what the sound of those two notes are, or if I want to hear harmonic. All right. Then below are some songs that use the interval of a major second. And when I say songs that use the interval, it's actually the very first two notes of the song. All right, so it's not that every single note in the song is a major second apart. It's the very first two. And a great way to start learning the sound of intervals is to use some some common kind of simple songs. Here you see a couple of kind of kids' songs to use that help you learn the sound of a particular interval. So first one here is Fer Jaca. So if I get the sound of the first two notes of Frère Jacques in my head, then uh, I'm going to be able to learn better what the sound of a major second is. And that's for ascending. For descending, I have Mary Had a Little Lamb, one of our favorites. <laughs> okay, so the very first two notes of Mary Had a little lamb, little lamb is a descending major second. So that's what that learn is. We can go, you know, if I take a look at the perfect fifth, the main theme from Star Wars. For descending, the Flintstones. Some of these songs will keep you up at night going through your head, all right? So now um, 
that's what the learn button is. Now, if I just click on where you see the speaker and the major second, it's going to play the major second in the context of how we're working on it. We're working on melodic long ascending with the piano sound. So um, if you were working on the you know major second and the perfect fifth and you weren't quite sure hmm, what it is you could come down here you know what does that sound like what does that sound like okay so um, it's just another way to help you train your ear for these uh, particular sounds and then uh, over here you can also reset your score if you just want to start all over again all right so that is the interval ear trainer this is you know this is a very cool program. Um, the person that programmed it put a lot of, of, of time into it and I think came up with a very cool tool that you can use uh, to train your ears. So spend some time with it. A little bit each day is a great way to, to approach this. Just keep building up the number of intervals, intervals that you're able to recognize and then start changing it up, ascending, descending, harmonically, start using the different instruments.